Now, I'm going to show you how to defend against a low roundhouse kick. Okay, okay. So for real now, how do we defend against a low roundhouse kick? First off, before we enter in and jam him into his space so he can't kick anymore or punch anymore, you might want to step back a little bit. You see, when, the, when he can't, he's kicking, look, I'm in range. He can hit my body, he can hit my, my leg. This time, I take a little step so he's going to miss. See that again? Go. Okay. Do that again. This time, you're going to make him pay for trying to hurt you. So what you do is when you move back, as you, as you move back, okay, what you're going to do is you're going to bring up your, your uh, knee, okay, and use the strongest part of your shin to block his ankle. If done right, you can break his ankle, especially if he's trying to really kick your, 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 your body. Let's do it slow. So watch, I step back, boom. That would have been perfect. That would go again. They can hit his knee, like this time I hit his toe. Whether, notice how this time he was kicking my body. This worked even against the body. Another feature is, when you, when you do it, keep your hands up. You can use a Wing Chun structure like this, the, the Gan Zam Sao or the uh, Quan Sao, okay? Whatever it is, I personally like the Gan Zam Sao. One more thing, don't try not to bring your, your leg completely uh, vertical. You want it to be a little bit, a little bit angled. The reason why is when, you, when you're a little bit angled, it tends to hit the higher portions of the shin. That will protect you from getting injured in a real fight situation. So let's see that again. Slow, slow, slow. Bing! This time, uh, after you see it, like one kick and, he, and you, you're able to block him that way, you know he's going to kick or he might stop kicking altogether. If you feel like you have the balls to go up and knock him out, this is what you do, okay? So, same technique, except you want to jam even closer towards him. Wing Chun is about jamming and hitting and trapping. That's what we're going to use, okay? We're going to use our knee and our uh, jamming leg, or lan go up, to jam into a space. So how you do it is you're going you're gonna to sneak your, your back leg close to, close to your front leg, lift up, as well as have like a, like a bu cell up here, structure here to block everything, okay? So when he slowly kicks, boom! Notice how my momentum is already going forward too. That momentarily takes him off balance, and my, my setup, when I step down, I have power to hit him. That's how much use his solar plexus. And from there, I can also go, go, for the, go for the face, the throat, do a fox cell, <coughs> uh, whatever you like. Alright, so let's do it again, slow, boom, notice how, notice how I brought it up and, and I have this feature here. Ideally, you want to jam into, into the thigh, okay, like this, and then come in and hit, okay? So that is how I'll defend against a low roundhouse kick. So kickboxing is a very complicated art. I believe that all Wing Chun people should spar a little bit and use their stuff against kickboxing because I can guarantee you, if you can handle the average kickboxer, you can handle basically anybody on the street because you're able to handle all their dimensions of fighting. And thank you so much, Winston Kid, for having me here. All right, thanks everyone, Dan. thanks for the lesson. We'll see you in the next video with more lessons and make sure you subscribe to this channel. We'll see you really soon.